Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is something I have been wanting to make a video about for quite a while. Uh, I just kept like delaying for no apparent reason, to be honest. Uh, Anyways, so here it is. Uh, as you guys saw, saw from the title, today we are talking about eye creams. It's not gonna be a, like a tutorial video or a how-to video. If you're looking for that, uh, definitely go watch my other videos if you are uh, interested in like specific eye cream or anything like that. I do have done multiple videos with them, like Kiehl's, uh, Elemis. There's like so many products that I have done, so you can definitely watch those out. I also link other products in the like, cards up here, so you can check them out yourself. But in this video. I just wanted to talk about like what eye creams are actually made of and like why it is even exists in the first place it's just kind of like shedding a light on something that you know we are kind of believed that uh, we need to be using so there's so many products out there that like you know they just sell eye cream like there's so many brands out there that they're doing it like I have a bunch of it here that I'm gonna mention so I have one from Kiehl's you guys have seen this from my other videos this one is the power powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream and then I also have a cream from um, from LMS so one of them is actually it's not necessarily a cream but it's also for eyes this one's called pro collagen advanced eye treatment so I'm gonna mention a little bit about these and the other one is actually LMS pro collagen eye revive mask so these are slightly different but very similar aspect but they are not actually creams like they have more uh, powerful ingredients inside that so that does more purpose like than the regular eye cream so that's why I mentioned so at the end of the day one thing I want to mention is like uh, the cream we use overall not just for our like eye area but also just for our face it is for moisturizing purposes so when we have dry skin we automatically just apply moisturizer or cream so that's essentially what the eye cream does like that just moisturizing that area so if it has the same ingredients of a moisturizer why would you just buy another eye cream right like that makes no sense especially because like this specific one the powerful eye cream um i have done the video about it uh, it pretty much has the same ingredients as like the kills moisturizer so if you have the moisturizer of kills you don't have to buy this eye cream because you can just use the same one just make sure to use like a little bit uh, and also don't just put it right up here if it is too close to your eye you will be like you know, it, it, it will just, uh, it, it won't feel good and you will like... Because it's too close to your eye, you don't want to do that. Um, it will irritate your eye very bad. So definitely put like over here and some over here. Then it's going to travel around so you will be all set uh, if you do want to use the eye cream. Uh, but you can just use a moisturizer as the eye cream. So that's the most alternative I will actually recommend. Because I think a lot of moisturizer are actually very powerful to like you can use it as just like a regular um, cream on your face. Everywhere in your face, not just your face and like ignore the eye area. Other thing I would mention is like most people actually they use eye cream for a very specific reason. They don't just use it for moisturizing purposes. They use it because they either have dark circles or they have wrinkles in that area. Um, you know, there's just multiple purposes that, you know, people want to use it for. So that's something that I mentioned before that like that's, you need the retinol for it. So retinol is something that's like a vitamin A and there's also vitamin C, um, vitamin A, but also there's vitamin A something else, like which is like a prescription. Uh, so that's all depends on that. And I have done an entire video about retinol, so I will link it up here as well so you can check it out. But that's essentially what retinol is for. So you, you just need to get a retinol uh, for your skin. Again, and you can just use the retinol right up here in your eye area and it will help with the wrinkles so that's what it's for but in terms of dark circles that's very hard and it's actually also depends on the person because sometimes you get dark circles because you're not getting enough sleep or genetic there's so many reasons that actually be happening and one eye cream is not going to fix that for you uh, one thing I would recommend though there's some uh, creams some not creams but like some eye treatments that you can use that will help you with the like if you have like like maybe maybe like you just woke up or like you have a shoot or something to go to you don't have to use an eye cream you just use eye patches eye patches are so so powerful and I'm sure everyone a lot of people are actually using and even experts you would literally see like whenever you Kyle is getting a you know makeup or like celebrities are getting a makeup first thing that is on their eye 
is like the eye patches then the makeup artist is like doing their foundation and stuff so because it really helps with just like uh, cooling down your eye area if you have like plump like if you're just like swollen or not even swollen it's just kind of like puffy like you know when you first wake up or if you have cried overnight or something so it, it literally just helps just you know cooling that on area and just calms down to your skin so definitely would recommend eye patches they're so much cheaper than an eye cream and it can go a really long way i will definitely link like some similar products but again i have also done so many eye patches products uh reviews so <laughs> i will link it up in there <laughs> as well but some of the things that i want to mention too is that like it really depends again like what you wanted to use it in terms of like the certain products for your eye area because if you really want to spend the money I just want to mention that like this is not something required in your skincare routine it is something more like people are like oh it's you know it's a smaller product let's just make it a product that's just only for your eyes so this is uh, essentially a marketing scam um, I don't even know if, we, if I should say a scam but it's essentially is because that's what you're marketing towards and people are like oh it's eye cream so I'm gonna buy this for my eyes. And the last things I would mention is like these are the things. Um, these are like slightly different because they're not creams. Like, and I have done the videos about like talking about like what ingredients that's inside. Some of these are kind of like very specific purposes and not just for eye area because they have other versions too. It's like it just really helps in different ways. And I have mentioned like uh, how different ingredients they have in there because always check the ingredients list and Hiram says this, everyone says this, every esthetician would say this too, it's like ingredients don't lie. So when you look at the product and you see the same ingredients that is inside of a moisturizer or something that like you already use don't get that product and same applies to these these are just like slightly these are like some of these are like very very different it almost has like not the same ingredients at all so it does have a very different effect versus just like a regular eye cream which is essentially a glorified moisturizer that you're paying extra fifty dollars just for it because then it's smaller and not even like for your entire face. In terms of the patches I just mentioned, uh, this is my current favorite. It's the Bulgarian Rose Water Eye Patches. Like, they're so like refreshing and so cooling. Uh, I really love that and they smell so great. So you can definitely use them for your eye area. If you're just looking to get some sort of like cooling product just for your eye area. So like you don't look as puffy or anything like that. That's something I would recommend. It's available at Yes Style. You can use my link down below. It's like, it's very cheap compared to what you would spend on an eye cream product. So definitely get that. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.